Shalom, good afternoon. This is 7 CPS Certified Peer Specialist back at you with the first video of my new playlist, my high power meta mental and vibing of movies and television. Fair use, copyright disclaimer, under section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Striving to understand the effects of television on mental health in our community. Understand why we must control our muse, our own muse, arc, or music, which is not what you, you're thinking that's going to be about. And we're going to observe each decade and the effects movies and television has had on the African American community. Next slide. Recovery. We must visit this with every uh, video presentation. This is what this station's platform is now about. Recovery defined by SAMHSA.gov is a process of change through which individuals improve their health and wellness, live a self-directed life, and strive to reach their full potential. And in doing so, they get hope, which is the belief that one has both the ability and the opportunity to engage in the recovery process. In addition to the five-stage recovery process, content on uh, my presentations other than the five-stage recovery process will be based on dialectical behavior therapy or DBT. DBT is the treatment for severe and persistent emotional and behavioral difficulties to include substance abuse, self-injury, mood disorders, depression, anxiety, bipolar, and suicide prevention. DBT is drawn from mindfulness techniques, as well as cognitive behavior therapy techniques. The goal here is to balance acceptance strategies with change strategies. And the resource um, for this therapy uh, I use was Clear Wise Dual Diagnosis Treatment Manual put together by the Department of Veteran Affairs. Revised 8-6-2014. Next slide. There are times in a person's life when their disabling powers of health disorder cause them to become overwhelmed, which is a question of identity. Giving into, which is a question of possibilities. Questioning the disabling powers, which is a question of risk. Challenging those powers, which is a question of support, and then moving beyond, okay, which is a question of responsibility. And so we have here on my first um, uh, vibing of movies and television, we have the Oscars, right? And we see the two participants there. And the gentleman to our right became, what, overwhelmed, right? And giving in to his behavior or, or his disabling powers of his health disorders, right? He gave in to them. Now, the other ones we're going to review as we get into those stages. But right now, we covered the first two stages, impact of illness and life is limited. Okay? All right? And so... In those disabling powers of behavioral health disorders, and because of the venue that these two gentlemen were on, not only are they experiencing, right, the disabling power of health disorder, but you as well from viewing it, okay? And so what happened here, right? The one who became overwhelmed, he was triggered, right? Because your disabling powers are what? What 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 um aggravates them? What do we deal with every day? 
when you're experiencing uh, 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 your disabling power of health disorders. And we know his wife is, right? And as a result of your loved one experiencing what? You're going to experience it. So he was triggered, right? And what happened? The question of identity, right? He's an actor, right? He's a husband. But what happened? The protector, the protector, right? Question of identity, the protector. Now, could the protector have still come out? Yes. And then after the show, he approached the young man. No, he was overwhelmed. He was overwhelmed. And it became his controlling experiences. Now, keep in mind, there is no right or wrong here in this slideshow. We are looking at the effects of movie and television, and we, we find that not only are we affected, but in this situation, the participants as well. And so for this presentation, I would need for you to refer to my uh, playlist, that is presentations and lectures, and the uh, video specifically that you are to review is Upgrade to Reason Mind. And so here, we're what? We wanna depart from emotion mind, and we wanna upgrade to reason mind because those are the two minds, right? And so with that, we're looking at the concept of delusion versus illusion. And so an illusion is what? An incorrect perception of reality. Whereas a delusion is when you have a wrong idea or a wrong belief in something, despite having invalidating proof against that belief. A deception is very dangerous. And deception, or delusion that is, I'm sorry, is very dangerous and deceptive when compared to an illusion. So what are we saying? Okay, an illusion is this, an incorrect illusion. An illusion. You saw, one person saw something, right? We're both looking at the same thing. Everybody looking at the same thing. One person saw one thing, and another person saw something else. That's illusion. You can't help that, right? The delusion is that it has been proven to be one thing, and you continue to want to believe what you want to believe. That is the delusion. Next slide. Okay, so impact of illness. The person is overwhelmed. That's what this gentleman became once he was triggered, once he started experiencing symptoms, once he started experiencing stigma. He and his wife, right? Right? The symptoms and the resulting behavior are the controlling experiences in a person's life, and the person is often not able to to function. So when this gentleman got the trigger or heard the trigger, he may have already ex been experiencing a uh, stigma, he and his wife, who is the one that has the initial uh, um, disabling power health disorder. Okay, and he shared it, he cares for it. He may not have the actual uh, uh, health disorder. But that's his wife, right? So he's living it. His children are living it. She's living it, okay? And so he was overwhelmed. The danger, right? The person will redefine themselves in a mental illness terminology that will automatically limit their future. Did he redefine himself? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He's a husband. He's an actor. He's a protector. But that protector decided to do so. Okay, his experience, his experiences uh, became the, the controlling factor. So let's look a little deeply at that. Reason mind versus emotion mind. Okay, reason, analyze emotion, right? Your reasonable mind is our logic mind. We look at the facts, decide the best course. We consider analytically with calm, not factoring in 
how we feel about the slap, right? So let's look at the slap analytically, okay? Analytically, there was no perforation of skin or break. <laughs> Please excuse me. There seems to never be a time that I can do slightly without that. But anyway, when you hear a term like no perforation of skin, the word perforation is a word that you hear a lot uh, when it comes to uh, uh, forensic science, right? And they're looking at a body. Uh, uh, they're looking at someone in the hospital or they're making uh, uh, a medical report and perforation simply means a tear. Now we don't want a tear in this beautiful face, do we? But we're looking at analyzing reasonably, okay? There were no bruises and the show went on. Illusion or reality? Well, we can't say that. Why? When art and reality blur. You have something called frequency of occurrence. What is that? Let's say, for instance, a fight scene. Both of these men are actors. Both, now he's a comedian, but what? He's a comedian that has been in movies, so he knows how to act. He's been instructed on how to duck. He's been instructed on how to uh, uh, receive a, a punch and how to send one, right? And so that can occur. But does it mean that they're not serious? No, it doesn't. It simply means from a reason mind, they have the ability, okay, to engage in a skill simulating fighting and stop it. You don't think that he could be overwhelmed enough to go up there but when getting up there I'm not going to hurt this man I'm not going to really hurt my friend yeah they could be friends okay but I'm going to let them know I didn't like this right so publicity stunt versus a human experiencing impact of illness you can't say from reasonable mind we cannot say because reasonable mind knows that both of them know how to engage in a fight scene. That's right. And not come out hurt. Shh, be quiet, honey. But at the same time, right, they could be very serious, but use those skills not to go through with complete action. Okay, so conspiracy theories versus Staying present focus. That's what you have to do. Because see, emotion feeds delusion. Oh, yes. Emotion feeds delusion. Okay? An emotion mind is our panic mind. We interpret feelings as facts or best course. We consider chaotically factoring in our feelings the slap. Okay? We go to conspiracy theories and the emotion mind takes over. Next slide. So impact of illness. Okay, this gentleman had a question of identity. How will I define myself on the other side of being diagnosed? Internally, the person experiences loss, sense of failure, etc. Causing them to question their ability and seize themselves as their diagnosis. Externally, others see the person as once broken, always broken, will not be able to function again. So inside this fine gentleman, okay, experienced a sense of loss. When he was triggered, a sense of failure, okay? You're not finna say this to my wife. 
on national television the way she feels. Since free. Causing them to question their ability to seize themselves as a diagnosis. So when they say you see themselves as a diagnosis, it's not necessarily saying that this gentleman see himself as the word that we, we like to apply to mental illness. C-R-A-Z-Y. Okay? No, 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 no. He became his diagnosis. Sees themselves as their diagnosis. Externally, others see the person as he was once broken, always broken, would not be able to function again. Okay. Ten years not being able to participate uh, uh, with uh, uh, this industry's grand award ceremony, you can probably put in there. Okay, but do we see him as broken? I don't. Okay, I'm a consumer. Okay, of his brain, both of them. Okay. All right. But when you're talking about sees themselves as their diagnosis, a, a lot of times is 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 as the trauma uh, endures and you begin to question. Rather or not, you can see yourself as you saw yourself before. Okay. All right. So staying present, focused, upgrade from emotion, mind to reason, mind. Self acceptance, self acceptance, accountability. Okay. Self acceptance, right? Accountability. He accepted, he and his wife, what they're doing, right? Right? So, because when we're talking about this right here, upgrade, upgrade from emotion like to reason, trust me, this is not an indictment anywhere. None of this slide is. Okay. Uh, bless their hearts. They walk right into my PowerPoint present presentation. So when we're saying self-deceptance and accountability, they could have done that, all right? Don't label, stay focused, okay? But they were triggered, right? And you can say that from him as well. Self-deceptance, accountability, observance as is, but he's a comedian, right? And so here we get we're, we're getting an opportunity to learn something about what avoiding a cliche. Example, it was staged. <laughs> cliche phrase or opinion that is overused and, and betrays a lack of original thought. A very predictable or unoriginal thing or person. A stereotype, cliche, the old cliche, one man's meat is another man's poison. That's exactly what you have here. Okay? Chris, or Mr. Rock, was performing a cliche. Talk about somebody in the audience. He's done it before. <laughs> Yeah, it's not funny this time, right? He's done it before. But that's a cliche. Do you think that's a cliche that comedians going to look at a little bit carefully in the future? I think so. I think so. Next slide. Question of identity. When I have experienced the symptoms of behavioral health disorder and have been diagnosed, how am I going to relate to this in terms of defining? who I am, and what I am able to do, okay? So this gentleman has that question now. They both do. They both do. Because, see, the identity of comedian has been changed as well now because of this occurrence. Will I go to the old cliches of comedy? Or is it time that we explore the avenues or additional ways to get a laugh. Avoid living a cliche. Why? Purpose. 
Purpose is the reason something is done, created, or exists. So can your intent to reach your goal be achieved by living a cliche? You see, because a purpose have as one's intention or objective. So see, we know the purpose of the joke was not to hurt the beautiful actress. Okay, reason mine. It's not why comedy is great. It's not the purpose of comedy. Does it happen? Has it happened? Yes, that's getting to that cliche, right? But that's not the purpose. Impact of illness. From the initial onset of symptoms through the time of diagnosis. So do you have to be diagnosed to be suffering impact of illness? No. That's the purpose of my new platform. Introducing uh, mental health maintenance and care to the black community. You do not have to have a diagnosis, right? When a person is experiencing intense emotional distress, does that just happen to people with the diagnosis? No, okay? They're experiencing uh, their health disorders, right? What's the danger at this stage again? They will take on a new identity. What you're going to notice is that in my slides, things are repeated. Yes, this is a language of mental health recovery that I am attempting to ingrain in your head, right? Because this language is going to start to speak to you. Language is a program for you. The words you use are the words you live around. And so here, we want to introduce a terminology, right? Not to reduce your possibilities. Not to intensify your trauma of being overwhelmed but a language that will get you in the habit of speaking positivity into your life, okay? Because in impact of illness, you, be, you can begin to see yourself as the illness. Will never be unified. <laughs> and therefore, see yourself as unable to do most of the things that you would like to do. This is what the person who is experiencing addiction, who is experiencing um, a, a mental health disorder, physical health disorder, and not getting any help. So it's very important at this stage that you realize that you can not only stay in, you can go back to, I bet you anything, that beautiful actress and her beautiful husband, okay, who were the brunt of the joke, who were triggered. I bet you they've been through the five-stage uh, recovery process, impact of illness, life is limited, change is possible. You don't think they've been there? Commitment to change, action to change. I bet you they've been there. One trigger, take you right back impact of illness. Next slide. Expectations versus life happens, right? Self-acceptance, the internal you, who you are, the external you, nature's hue, whatever beautiful color the earth slapped on you, right? Experiences lived, choices that you assigned value. Now, some of those choices weren't good, right? 
but they were experiences lived. So you're learning from them or you learned from them, such as the addict who goes to recovery, such as the person suffering from mental illness finds they way to treatment. So does eight people who are waking up, right? Observe as is. Don't label. Notice what is and not what you want it to be. So if I just left the beach and I saw a bat landing, <laughs> right? And I saw the uh, sun with two moons on the side landing on the ocean. And then in the distance, in the horizon, I see a star standing on the ocean, right? And then I see a group of people walking on water, running on water, and looking up at something, right? Do you think I'm going to walk away from this and say, well, y'all, it's COVID on the beach, <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think there is a, <coughs> a, a a baptism or something going on down there, and there's a whole lot of lights shining. No, it's just what I saw: a bad landing with the moon and the stars walking around on the sea, and people looking up at something. That's what I saw, right? <laughs> Life happens. Next slide. So in the five stage stages in the recovery process, all of them have dangers. Each and every one. Impact of illness recovered, life is limited, and the other three remaining all have dangers. At each stage, a decision must be made. That's right. You have to make that decision at that stage impact of illness, you're overwhelmed. You have to make a decision. Okay? Life is limited. The person is given in to. Right? First stage is the question of identity impact of illness. There's a question. Second stage, given in to. That is a question of possibilities. There's a question. That must be answered. Okay? Things influence our decision. A bad joke. Internally and externally, there are pressures on the individual to answer the question negatively. When the internal and external pressures become overwhelming, it often, often causes a person to get stuck or sidetracked on the journey. He definitely got stuck. Okay, and there were internal and external questions or pressures to respond to that trigger negatively. You talking about my wife? I know, I know, I'm not a right. Whatever words we can use to associate to uh, what we call weakness, you you don't do that and expect me now. So. Internal and external pressures to respond to that trigger. Next one. Mindfulness one-on-one. -on -one. Stay focused, fam. Once again, this was not a, um, uh, a review of criticism. Uh, these fine gentlemen walked right into my uh, PowerPoint presentation. I am a consumer of both their brands and will continue to do so. Um, but I speak Psalm 91 on both of them and their families, okay? The role of services of the certified peer specialist is to decrease the emotional distress by reducing the symptoms and communicating that there is life 
<laughs> after diagnosis. Sometimes you just need to get out of your car. Okay? Um, I hope you've enjoyed this PowerPoint presentation. I definitely um, enjoy putting it together, not to exploit these gentlemen, but to simply say that um, in, in, in cultural competence, they are us, right? And it doesn't matter the money you have, family. Okay, we understand that. And so I say Psalm 91, I thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for participating with this slide, uh, this presentation. I hope you get out of it, all right? Uh, what I intended to relay and I wish well for the both of these gentlemen. God bless you. Salawam, peace, love, seven.